1 John 5, 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. The Godhead. The Father, the Word, and then when you type in Holy Ghost, gives you 777 mentions. Okay, so this one has been on the channel a lot, and people have probably seen it before if you're familiar with this channel. However, you might not know about this. In the entire Bible, it gives you 777 mentions. When you just go to the Gospels with the exact same search phrase, notice I'm not touching the search phrases at all. I'm only editing the filters of what books we're, we're looking at. So over here it has uh, 18 mentions in 15 verses in Matthew, 22 mentions of Mark. So if I were to open this, I could see where they all are. Now these are raw mentions, right? So obviously all these mentions of the word are not talking about uh, Jesus Christ himself. Um, the same thing with the Father. Holy Ghost will, because everything Holy Ghost is the Holy Ghost. But Okay, so we're looking only in the Gospels now, right? Watch what happens when you add all mentions of Jesus. So the, this, these three search phrases give you 777 mentions in the Bible. In the Gospels, when you narrow down to the Gospels and you just add the word Jesus, and when that little asterisk means Jesus with, with or without the apostrophe, it gives you 777 mentions in the Gospels. Okay? So that's just in the plain text of the Bible. If you just look for all of those mentions. Okay, now, next. Let's go back to... I guess we only need the New Testament for this. Okay, so let's look up all mentions of Jesus. So 983 is how many mentions of Jesus there are. Uh, raw mentions. Now let's look up all mentions of Christ or Christ's. Okay, so... Um, let me just show you the difference here. So, Christ. If I were to add an asterisk here, what would happen is it's going to include Christian and Christians and Christs, like false Christs. So if I delete the asterisk and I just do Christ and Christ, it'll be the same here as Jesus and Jesus with an apostrophe. Just so you can see that's consistent. So 983 mentions of Jesus or Jesus with the apostrophe, 555 mentions of Christ, 16 mentions of Christ with the apostrophe S. Yes. It gives you a total of 1,554 mentions. And this little pipe here, it just basically, I do the same thing here. Just so you can see, there's no sleight of hand type of thing. It's searching for both. 983 and then 571 gives you 1,554 mentions of Jesus or Christ. So that equals 777 plus 777, which means you get an average of 777 mentions each of Jesus or Christ. Okay. Um, while we're at it, let's just go to the Old Testament as well. And there are no mentions of Jesus or Christ in the Old Testament, uh, at least by word. If we add Moses... Moses or Moses, we get 2,401, which is equal, if you get your calculator out, it's 7 to the 4th power. 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Okay, Moses represents the Old Testament, Jesus represents the New Testament. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. This is wild. So we're going to look up all mentions of Jesus, and then we're going to look up at all capitalized mentions. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to put case sensitive. It's going to look at uh, capitalized mentions when we capitalize it like this. Father, and this is going to be in Old New Testament. So Father and case sensitive Son. Jesus Father and Son, when Father and Son are capitalized, raw mentions gives you 1,554, 777 plus 777 mentions. Okay. Um, 
if we do it like this, if we look at just their singular mentions and we're going to put them together like this, watch what happens when you look at how many mentions there are in the same chapter. So when I, this little search script right here, I've never showed this before. Basically, if I were to click same verse, it's going to show you, here, let me change this view. It's going to show you all the verses that mention either Jesus, uh, both Jesus and Father and Son in the same verse. So as you can see, both Jesus and Son are in this verse. And same here, and same there. So whether it has Father or Son, that's what the pipe is for. It can have either one. Um, but it's only going to give you results of how many verses. So same verse, it'll give you 105, which is 7 times 15. But if you do same chapter, um, look at this. So you see 777 right here, right? That means if you go through all these church phrases where uh, within the same chapter, so here you see Matthew chapter 3. Matthew chapter 3 has both Jesus and either Father or Son. So when you look in the same chapter, you're going to get 777 mentions of Jesus when it's in the same chapter as either Father or Son. So if I were to just make this singular and add Christ, you get a total if all, all in the same chapter. So whether Jesus and Christ are in the same chapter as Father or Son, counting all those chapters, you're going to get... 1,554 total mentions, which is 777 plus 777. These are all raw mentions. And th this should not be happening by a random chance with these perfect of search words, right? Okay, so, all right, so let's do this. So Jesus, uh, and then we're going to do Christ or Christ, Christ, Christ. These are also really easy to show to like friends or family. Like you don't have to exclude any anti-mentions and do anything fancy. Um, so I'm doing Jesus and Christ and Father and Son. Just to show you it's consistent. There are no mentions of sons capitalized with apostrophe S, but I just put it in there for the sake of consistency. Because if I didn't, it would almost look like I'm trying to like cheat or something, like having something inconsistent. But I put it in there so you can see that it is uh, consistent. Okay, so what happens when you look for all these in the first seven books of the New Testament? So if I uncheck everything, just do the first seven books. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, there's five books. And then Romans, 1 Corinthians, is seven books. You end up with 1372. And notice we have four search phrases here, right? 1372 is seven times seven times seven times four. Four groups of seven times seven times seven. Basically, these average out to, it gives you an average of seven times seven times seven mentions for each of these, of Jesus Christ, Father, and Son. Okay. Now, let's see here. When you expand this to the New Testament, so that's in the first seven books. <clears throat> when you expand this to the New Testament, it gives you 2,058 which is seven times seven times seven times six. So again, <laughs> divisible by triple uh, seven, that's not, you do not usually see that randomly. But then if you also add Lord, let's just make it consistent. So Lord or Lords, Uh, all uppercase, and then we're going to add one for capitalize, Lord or Lords, okay, sensitive. So as you can see, we're just building on top of these other patterns that already exist. It gives you 2,744 mentions. Use your calculator, that is 7 times 7 times 7 times 8. I'm going to do Father. And then I'm going to do either Jesus 
our Christ in the Gospels. Okay, so uh, Jesus or Christ in the Gospels and then Father, so when they are in the same chapter, Jesus and Christ show up seven times seven times seven times in the Gospels. Um, by the way, uh, if you were to just do Jesus and Christ, this is like a little bit, I can't really show this with pure Bible search because it won't let me. But basically, it says Jesus and Christ in the same chapter. So it doesn't include any chapters if, if Christ is not mentioned in it or if Jesus is not mentioned in it. It's only going to include chapters where both words are mentioned in that chapter. Now, it's giving 348 mentions. But if you look at with with the logic of conjoined mentions, so right now you see Jesus Christ here, that's counting that as two mentions right now. However, there are five mentions of Jesus Christ in the Gospels. There's zero mentions of Christ Jesus. So when it's combined like that, there's there's five instances. So right now you see it's counting as two mentions. If you were to look at that uh, as one mention, because it's conjoined, it would be 348 minus 5. It would be, basically, if you were to count this as one mention, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and you just keep counting like that, you're going to end up with 7 times 7 times 7. You're going to end up with perfect 343 mentions in the Gospels of Jesus and Christ when they're in the same chapter. I mean, the, the thing is so perfect. This is just a, a sampling. <laughs> We're working on a website now where you're going to be able to look through all these, download all the search files, go through it yourself. You can easily just plug all these in yourself as we go along, but I just wanted to show you some of these things so you can understand this is all happening inside of that. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever.